Hello guys, welcome to Freestyle Moda. I hope you guys have been well. Today I have for you guys a topic that is very special to me, that is very close to my heart. Um, I'm basically sharing with you guys my life story on how I adapted to two new countries when I moved abroad as a young kid, as a young teenager. And in hopes that this video can help someone out there who is also going through the same or that is simply planning to eventually move abroad and settle in a new place and start anew. So first I wanted to start off with a little backstory about my life. I moved abroad for the first time when I was six years old from my homeland, Cuba, to my parents' current residence at the time, which was Portugal. And then once again, I moved again on when I was 10 years old to my second home country, which is the now the United States. And I had to once again learn the new language and settle and adapt to a new place. The first thing that I would recommend you guys, if you're starting abroad in a new country and you're not sure on where to start, is by simply immersing yourself in the new language as much as you can. Whether you're watching lots of TV so you can hear the new language and start to understand how the, um, the language is spoken, or simply by converse, conversing with people around you, um, whether it's um, new friends and um, the people you find when you go to the stores, Basically, try to make small talk here and there because when and you listen to the language and you try to um, assimilate how the language is spoken, your brain slowly starts picking up um, how the language is spoken and it will try to imitate it because eventually what you want to do is speak the language as well. So. And it won't be easy at first, but the key is to keep trying and to keep on it practicing the language because if you do not practice the language you will not learn it. Florida, South Florida where I, where I live, um, many times um, some Hispanics make the mistake of simply staying around people that only speak Spanish and eventually they just simply cannot learn the language because they grow accustomed to simply staying in that community that, don't, that only speaks Spanish and they are afraid eventually to even going outside of that community to speak with people that speak the language which is English because they, they do not know how to speak it and, and they're afraid to do it because they didn't practice it in the beginning. And watching TV, if you're going to do that, I recommend you do it with subtitles um, in the language because basically you're going to listen to the language and also read um, what um, what they're saying and eventually your brain is going to start clicking and connecting um, what you hear with with how it's spelled and that will also help you with spelling later on and also it is very important that you ask for advice and you learn it and you try to um, learn it from a professional whether it is a teacher if you're a student and you're taking ESOL classes in the United States or in the country that you're trying to learn the language from a professional if you can. Um, here in the United States, um, when we settled, there were a, a lot of programs for kids and students like me in school to learn the language and then outside for older people, for adults, for my parents, um, the local schools used to host um, after school programs that were completely dedicated to learning the language as an adult and my parents i remember they used to go two to three times a week to my local um, elementary to try to learn the language and practice it and basically if you stay um stay with um, the mentality that you can learn it by yourself um i think it won't help you grow because the professional knows what they're doing and, and they will try to um make you understand the language not only um, how it's um, how it's spoken but also the grammar behind it so that you can also understand how to speak it better and and you're not mixing up the words or like the second thing I would recommend is to make new friends I cannot emphasize emphasize enough that friends will help you the most if you're trying to resettle in a new country it is very important that you learn to make new friends in this new country because 
you're going to have you're going to need somebody to practice a language with and most of the time the best person to do this with is with a friend um the friend that you meet in school is a friend that you're going to hang around with the most and that person is going to be your practice buddy that is a person you're going to speak the language with the most because you feel eventually comfortable with that person because that person becomes a friend so i i would suggest that you make new friends um you don't have to make a ton of friends um i know i was a shy person and i i I have always had only a limited amount of friends or a limited um, group of friends when I was a kid and even now today is the same thing because uh, I feel more comfortable that way so if you're comfortable making a small group two or one friend is fine the point is to find somebody that is going to be there to support you in this new journey and a friend is usually a person that is more than um, more than recommended to do something like this and another thing that you should definitely do is keep up in touch with your old friends your friends back home um sometimes you 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 feel a little confused um in the new country and even though you make new friends you still long for the feeling of connecting with your old friends and, and by keeping in touch with your old friends with social media back then i used to write letters um, whatever you want to do phone calls nowadays it's so easy to make video calls go ahead and do that keep in touch with your old friends make new friends but the point is to form a community around your community of support your new friends will support you and your old friends might support you as well it's a good thing to keep up with them because you will feel like you are not alone at the new place. You, at least you have somebody back home that misses you and that is rooting for you or that simply wants to know about you. So sometimes it's a little hard to, to start anew with not knowing anybody or you might need um, to um, talk to your friends back home so you can get their advice or simply to to talk it out to get your feelings out you might be feeling a little lost at first and it's totally fine to reach out to your old friends to see how they're doing. as you're settling in the new place in the new country in a new city think about all the new opportunities that are being offered to you um, think about it a new place is a new start you can do whatever you want in this new place you can create a new beginning for yourself so take advantage of that take advantage of the resources that are given to you take advantage of the things that you can learn from this trip from this new life in a new country and think about why you decided to resettle why did your parents make this very um, difficult decision to start anew in a new country I mean think about it they left everything behind to start anew in this new country they also have to start from the beginning by learning the language finding a new job so they made a sacrifice for you to start anew so think about that sacrifice what was the meaning behind it um, was it in your best interest why did they make this decision to um, start anew in a new country and to make you go through this that you think right now is um, unreasonable or that you think that is very difficult um, they did it for you they did it so you could start um, at a new place by learning new things and by um, creating a new and better life for yourself um, in my case my parents they moved because um, initially when I was in Cuba they moved first and they left me behind so that they could start a new life in, in Portugal and eventually be able to bring me there um, because you know in Cuba there was there was not enough it was it was not a life that that could provide much so they decided to start a new somewhere else and then in Portugal we did settle and we had a, a great life there but eventually the 2004 crisis came along and they had to decide to move somewhere else because jobs were becoming a little insecure it was a, a bit of a of a not stable um, period of time back then so they decided to leave everything behind and start over from the beginning in the United States so they made the sacrifice 
in order to give my brother and I a new and better life. So they took into account that um, their children deserve better, deserve to um, settle in a new place that could help them grow and become stronger. So they wanted us to take advantage of new opportunities and, and new things that could help us become into better adults. And here we are today and it was definitely um, a great choice. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here doing this or I wouldn't have finished college in um, the college that I did and I wouldn't have made a, a great life for myself. So think about it. Think about the opportunities that are being offered to you in this new place and take advantage of them because eventually they will make you into a better person. I also wanted to tell you this. It won't be easy at first, but I promise you things will get better if you stay true to yourself. Um, it, sometimes when we move to new places, we think that um, we're losing a part of ourselves because we left behind the life that, that was us, the life that we were. So when we settle in a new place, we might not feel like we're in the right place, but the, prom the thing is that you have to make the new place your place. If you stay true to yourself, you will be um, Shayla wherever you go. You will be whoever you are, wherever you go. So as long as you stay true to yourself and you believe in yourself, you can settle and survive anywhere you want to. Because think about it, the human nature, human nature it was made to survive. We, we were ingrained with this little voice in the back of our heads that always tells us you must survive. You must survive. Like the human body is designed to survive um, as well as it can. And when you move to a new country, eventually you're going to bring out these survival tactics into you that are going to allow you to settle into this new country by taking advantage of the resources around you just like our ancestors did back then when they used to be in the caves and they used to be hunters and gatherers so so think about it that way like if you stay true to yourself if you believe in yourself and you you focus on moving forward you will make it and you will settle into this new country efficiently because what can happen if you fail it is totally fine to fail because what will happen is that the next time you try to do whatever you were trying to do, you will remember about the failures that you had in your previous attempt and you will, um, you will think about not um, using or not doing the, the same um, mistakes that you did in the previous task in the new attempt so think about it that way if you fail just keep moving you will eventually get it the point is to take note of the mistakes that you make in your previous attempt and simply try again if you if at first you don't succeed um you brush yourself up and try again things that you do right now the challenges that you go through the failures that you go through the struggles that you go through they will only make you stronger. They will help you in the next um, events in your life and they will help you become an even better person, an even stronger person, an even wiser person. I remember when I first um, moved here, um, English was a, um, a bit difficult for me, but I eventually got it. And as soon as I got it, I was the person that was out there um, with some counselors helping other kids learn the language. So what you think right now that is hard, eventually it will be nothing. It will be something that you can call your strength. It will be something that you can teach others. It will be something that you can use to improve your life and help others improve their lives. So think of these challenges of these hurdles as training, um, challenges. These are things that are going to make you into a more um, adaptable, adaptable person. You you will be able to to live better in this new country um, after going through all these challenges because now you have learned 
to truly live in this country. So yeah, that is basically it. I simply wanted to share with you guys that you're not alone out there. Um, I've been where you've been before and it is totally fine to feel insecure in the beginning because eventually those insecurities will only make you into a better person. Those insecurities will only allow you to grow into a better person. You know, each time as we go through life, we have to take into account that not everything is going to be perfect. Perfect. We are not perfect beings. And the things that we're going through right now will eventually shape who you become later on. I always live by the quote that everything happens for a reason. And I'm sure that the reason why you've moved to this new country is a very important reason and is a reason that is going to help you grow, that is going to make you stronger, that is going to allow you to move forward in your life. So think about it in, in this way and, and try to not dwell too much on it. Just keep on pushing, keep on moving and try to do your best. And even if you feel alone out there, there's people um, here like me that can be your support. Uh, maybe you can find inspirational videos to also help you. Um, and if you have any questions um, that, that you want to clarify, or if you have any questions for me regarding um, other things I did to settle here in the United States and settle in Portugal when I did, um, go ahead and leave me a comment below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions and try to share my wisdom with you. Um, no, I'm not an expert in everything, but I will try my best to share with you my experience so that perhaps it can make your struggles a little bit easier. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video guys, make sure you guys subscribe. I will be very happy if you do so. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.